Ada Ur Rahman Urdu Towerman born the 22nd of September 1942 FRS FPAS is a Pakistani scientist specializing in organic chemistry who served as the chairman of the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan between October 2002 until September 2008 and the Minister for Science and Technology between March 2000 and September 2002 he currently serves as the co-chair of the UN Committee on Science, Technology and Innovation for UNESCAP. After studying chemistry at the University of Karachi, Atta Ur Rahman traveled to Cambridge where he received PhD and later SCD in organic chemistry. He also has received honorary doctorates from University of Bradford and Asian Institute of Technology, with research focused on bio-organic chemistry, synthetic chemistry and natural product chemistry. He started teaching as an associate professor in 1974 at the University of Karachi and worked as postdoctoral researcher at the University of Tübingen as part of the German Academic Exchange. He serves as the patron of Ibrahim Jamal Research Institute of Chemistry and Professor Emeritus of Chemistry at the Karachi University. Atta Ur Rahman is an expert in the field of natural product chemistry in South Asia, with over 1142 publications in several fields of organic chemistry, including 775 research publications, 43 international patents, 70 chapters in books, and 254 books published largely by major U.S. and European presses. H Index 50 he serves as the editor-in-chief of several peer-reviewed journals including the Current Medicinal Chemistry and Current Organic Chemistry. He has been a Fellow of the Royal Society since July 2006 and has served as the President of Pakistan Academy of Sciences. In recognition of his contributions in the field of organic chemistry, he has been conferred with four Government of Pakistan civil awards including Nishan e Imtiaz 2002, Halal i Imtiaz 1998, Satara i Imtiaz 1991, and Tamga e Imtiaz 1983. He has also been conferred the High Civil Award of the Government of Austria Gross Goldin Ehrenzeichen M. Bande 2007 in recognition of his eminent contributions to uplift higher education in Pakistan and the close linkages developed with Austria He was the first recipient of the Khwarezmi International Award and the first Muslim to receive the UNESCO Science Prize 1999. He was conferred the highest national award for foreigners, the Friendship Award, by the Government of China as of March 28, 2016. He co-chairs the United Nations Committee on Science, Technology and Innovation for the UNESCAP. In a recent national ranking, the Pakistan Council for Science and Technology ranked him as the top among chemistry professional of Pakistan. Topic. Education. Atta Ur Rahman was born on the 22nd of September 1942 in Delhi, British India, India into an Urdu-speaking academic family. His grandfather, Sir Abdur Rahman, was a vice-chancellor of the University of Delhi 1934-38 who briefly served as a judge at the Madras High Court. In 1946, Sir Abdur Rahman was appointed as vice-chancellor of the Punjab University in Lahore, eventually relocating his family there, a year before the partition of India took place. Sir Abdur Rahman eventually ascended as a senior justice at the Supreme Court of Pakistan in 1949. His father, Jamil Ur Rahman, was a lawyer who established a textile industry in Karachi, Sindh. Atta Ur Rahman was a bright student at school. After settling in Karachi in 1952, he excelled in passing the competitive O level and A level from the Karachi Grammar School and joined Karachi University. Attending Karachi University in 1960, Rahman graduated with a bachelor's degree with honors in chemistry in 1964, with degree concentration in natural products. He obtained a Master of Science MSc in Organic Chemistry in 1965, and earned a Commonwealth Scholarship for doctoral studies in the United Kingdom. He joined King's College of the Cambridge University and resumed research in natural products under J. Harlan Mason. In 1968, Rahman received his Doctor of Philosophy PhD in Organic Chemistry. His doctoral thesis contained fundamental work on natural products and organic materials. In 1987, Cambridge University also conferred him with the Doctor of Science SC, D, for his contribution for the advancement of the chemical sciences. 
In 2007, the Coventry University bestowed him with the Doctor of Education ed. D. in recognition of his services to help improve science education in Pakistan. In addition, Rahman has been conferred with the Honoris Causa by various institutions including the Bradford University in 2010, the Asian Institute of Technology in 2010, and the University Technologi Mara in 2011. Topic. Academic career In 1964, Rahman joined the Karachi University as a lecturer in undergraduate chemistry. He remained associated with the Cambridge University between 1969-73, and is presently Honorary Life Fellow at the King's College of the Cambridge University. In 1977, he became the deputy director of the Hussain Ibrahim Jamal Research Institute of Chemistry at University of Karachi. Eventually he was ascended as the director in 1990. In 1979, Rahman did the postdoctoral research at the University of Tübingen. Upon returning to Pakistan, he joined Karachi University where he lectures and taught chemistry. He was appointed Professor Emeritus at University of Karachi for Life. In 2008, Rahman was appointed as Patron in Chief of the International Centre for Chemical and Biological Sciences. In 2011, Rahman was made Emeritus Professor of Chemistry at the University of Karachi. With more than 1,122 international publications, including 245 books, 764 research publications, 70 chapters in books and 45 international patents, he has the distinction of being the only scientist to be elected Fellow of Royal Society London in 2006 in recognition of research contributions carried out within a country in the Islamic world. He is also the only scientist from the Muslim world to have been awarded the UNESCO Science Prize 1999. He was awarded an Honorary Life Fellowship by King's College, University of Cambridge in 2007, an Honorary Doctorate of Science by Cambridge University 1987, a Doctorate of Education by Coventry University in 2007, a Doctorate of Science by Bradford University in 2010, a Doctor of Philosophy by Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand in 2010 and Honorary Doctor of Science by University of Technology Mara. Malaysia. A number of other universities have also granted honorary doctorate degrees to Ada Ur Rahman including Coventry University, Bradford University, University of Karachi, Sir Syed University and Gomal University. He was given the International Cooperation Award, the highest award of the Chinese Academy of Sciences for Institution Building, on 10 January 2014. Ada Ur Rahman was elected as an academician. Foreign member of Chinese Academy of Sciences, thereby becoming the first scientist from the Muslim world to be so honored. Topic international praise Since the HEC's reforms have been carried out in 2002, HEC has received praise from the international higher education observers. Ada Ur underscore Rahman, founding chairman of HEC, has received number of prestigious international awards for the remarkable transformation of the higher education sector under his leadership. German academic, Wolfgang Wolter of Tübingen University in Germany overviewed the performance of HEC under the leadership of Professor Ada Ur Rahman and described the reforms in HEC as a miracle happened. After teaching and visiting in 15 universities of Pakistan, Volter wrote that the scenario of education, science, and technology in Pakistan has changed dramatically, as never before in the history of the country. The chairperson of the Senate Standing Committee on Education recently announced the first six years of HEC under Professor Ada Ur Rahman as Pakistan's golden period in higher education. Recently Thomson Reuters in an independent assessment of Pakistan's progress in international publications has acknowledged that in the last decade there has been a fourfold increase in international publications and a tenfold growth in highly cited papers, statistics that were better than the BRIC country's American academic Fred M. F. Hayward has also praised the reform process undertaken by Pakistan, admitting that since 2002, a number of extraordinary changes have taken place. Hayward pointed are that over the last six 
years almost 4,000 scholars have participated in PhD programs in Pakistan in which more than 600 students have studied in foreign PhD programs. The HEC instituted major upgrades for scientific laboratories, rehabilitating existing educational facilities, expanding the research support, and overseeing the development of one of the best digital libraries in the region. Seeking to meeting the international standard, a quality assurance and accreditation process was also established, of which, approximately 95% of students sent abroad for training returned, an unusually high result for a developing country in response to improved salaries and working conditions at universities as well as bonding and strict follow-up by the Commission, Fulbright, and others. The HEC's reforms brought about by Rahman were also applauded by the United Nations Commission on Science and Technology for Development. UNCSTD, which reported that the progress made was breathtaking and has put Pakistan ahead of comparable countries in numerous aspects. In limited time, the HEC established and provided free access to scientific literature by high speed internet for all universities, the upgrade of research equipment accessible across the country, and the program of establishing new universities of science and technology, including science parks, attracted the foreign investors, proved the efficiency and the long term benefits for the country enabled. The UNCSTD has closely monitored the development in Pakistan in the past years, coming to the unanimous conclusion that HEC's program initiated under the leadership of Rahman is a best practice example for developing countries aiming at building their human resources and establishing an innovative, technology-based economy. A number of institutions have been named after Rahman including the Atta ur Rahman Institute of Natural Product Discovery RIND at Malaysia's largest university, University Technologi Mara and the Atta ur Rahman School of Applied Biosciences at National University of Science and Technology in Islamabad. Rahman has won four international awards for the revolutionary changes in the higher education sector brought in the HEC. The Austrian government conferred its highest civil award, Gross Goldin Ehrenzeichen M. Bande, in recognition of his eminent contributions. Nature, a leading science journal, has also written a number of editorials and articles about the transformation brought about in Pakistan in the higher education sector under the HEC. In an article entitled, Pakistan Threat to Indian Science. Published in the leading daily newspaper Hindustan Times, India, it has been reported that C. N. R. Rao, chairman of the Indian Prime Minister's Scientific Advisory Council made a presentation to the Indian Prime Minister at the rapid progress made by Pakistan in the higher education sector under the leadership of Rahman, chairman, Higher Education Commission. It was reported that as a result of the reforms brought about in Pakistan, Pakistan may soon join China in giving India serious competition in science. Quote dot. Quote. Science is a lucrative profession in Pakistan. It has tripled the salaries of its scientists in the last few years. Rahman was conferred the highest national award of the Republic of China in September 2014 for his contributions to develop strong linkages between Pakistan and China in various fields of higher education, science and technology. In 2016 he was elected as Academician foreign member of Chinese Academy of Sciences, thereby becoming the first scientist from the Islamic world to be bestowed this honor. Topic Harp Research In 2010, Atta Ur Rahman published his views that the United States government had financed a science research project, the Harp Program, in Alaska that could affect the weather. Since 2003, Rahman quoted the European Union resolution condemning USA for research on altering weather patterns through HARP as well as the 12 international patents obtained in the field by the U.S.-supported HARP initiative in Alaska. Rahman has been in conflict with Pervez Hoodboy, a nuclear physicist, who has criticized Rahman on his tenure as chairman of the Higher Education Commission. This sparked off a debate when Pervez Hoodboy lamented decline of academic standards in Pakistan. The views of Hoodboy have been criticized and rejected by some others, including by some international observers, such as Fred Hayward, U.S. consultant to USAID, Wolfgang Volter, Tübingen University, and Michael Rode, Innsbruck University, chairman of UN Commission on Science, Technology and Development, who have praised the reforms of the higher education sector in Pakistan under the leadership of the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan by Atta Ur Rahman. 
A number of major international prizes and awards have also been won by Atta Ur Rahman in recognition of these contributions. Atta Ur Rahman has subsequently clarified that he did not state that HARP could cause earthquakes but he did refer to the European Union resolution that condemned the U.S.-funded research on HARP which could potentially alter weather patterns and on which 12 U.S. patents had been obtained. Topic positions held Fellow, King's College, Cambridge University 1969-1973, 2007 for life Professor at HEJ. Research Institute of Chemistry at Karachi University Professor Emeritus at HEJ. Research Institute of Chemistry at Karachi University 2012 Coordinator General of COMSTECH 1996-2012 Federal Minister of Science and Technology 2000-2002 Federal Minister of Education 2002 Federal Minister, Chairman, Higher Education Commission, Pakistan Resigned due to GOVT issues 2002-2008 Advisor to the Prime Minister of Pakistan on Science and Technology 2002 to 2008 Honorary Life Fellow, King's College, Cambridge University 2007 Present Member UNESCO High Level Panel on Science and Technology for Development 2011 Present Distinguished National Professor International Center for Chemical and Biological Sciences at Karachi University 2011 For Life Professor Emeritus, University of Karachi 2011 For Life HTTP colon slash slash www.uok.edu dot pk slash admissions slash 2016 slash bazar slash prospectus 16 pdf patron in chief international center for chemical and biological sciences at karachi university 2009 present president pakistan academy of sciences 2003 to 2006 2011 to 2014 President Network of Academies of Sciences of Islamic Countries NASIC 2007 present Vice President Academy of Sciences of Developing Countries TWAS 2008 to 2011 Co-Chairman Science, Technology and Innovation Committee of United Nations Economic Social Commission for Asia and Pacific 2016 present Topic government work and political advocacy After securing the fellowship of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences, Rahman had been affiliated with the Pakistan government regarding education and science affairs. From 1996 till 2012, Rahman served in the board of directors of the Committee on Scientific and Technological Cooperation, representing Pakistan's delegation. In 1997, Rahman served as the Coordinator General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperations OIC Committee on Scientific and Technological Cooperation that comprised 57 ministers of science and technology from 57 OIC member countries. In 1999, he joined the Ministry of Science and Technology Mashi as its minister, assisting in drafting the official science policy of the country. In 2002, he was appointed as Minister of the Ministry of Education Moed, as well as becoming the Chairman of the Higher Education Commission HEC, until resigning in 2008. Rahman served as the President of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences for two non-consecutive terms, first from 2003 until 2006, and from 2010 until 2015 for a second term. In 2012, Rahman used this position on providing guidance on science and technology affairs to the Pakistan government on multiple occasions. Rahman bitterly criticized the alleged hydrogen-powered vehicle invented by Aga Wakar Ahmad. In a nationwide televised debate with Abdul Qadir Khan, Samar Mubarakmand, and Pervez Hoodboy, he notable argued against it and proved that such invention was in a violation of the second law of thermodynamics as well as law of conservation energy. In 2016 Professor Rahman was appointed as co-chairman of a United Nations Committee on Science, Technology and Innovation covering the member countries of UNESCAP. Professor Atta Ur Rahman has been appointed as the chairman of two steering committees formed to establish the Pakistan Austrian Engineering University in Haripur, Hazara, and the Pakistan Italian Engineering University in Lahore. Professor Rahman is also the chairman of the Search Committee for Appointment of Vice Chancellors in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Province of Pakistan, and some 20 vice chancellors have been appointed by the Search Committee under his chairmanship. Rahman is also the former vice president of the World Academy of Sciences, which he secured in 2010. 
The Austrian government also honored him with its highest civil award, Das Gro Goldene Ehrenzeichen am Bande, 2007, in recognition of his eminent contributions. In recognition of the contributions of Rahman, a number of institutions have been named after him within and outside Pakistan. These include a Natural Product Chemistry Institute at Ur Rahman Research Institute of Natural Product Discovery, RIND at the University of Technology Mara in Malaysia, at Ur Rahman School of Applied Biosciences at National University of Science and Technology in Islamabad, and Dr. Atta Ur Rahman Building at the International Centre for Chemical and Biological Sciences, University of Karachi The Academy of Sciences in the Developing World TWAS, based in Trieste, Italy has introduced a Dr. Atta Ur Rahman Prize in Chemistry to a scientist from the developing world each year. The prize carries a cash award of $5,000 and a certificate. Rahman has established a research center for genomics research at the University of Karachi named after his father Jamil Ur Rahman from a personal donation. The center has been named as the Jamil Ur Rahman Center for Genomics Research and has the state-of-the-art facilities for gene sequencing, the only such facility in Pakistan. Topic honors and awards Rahman is the most decorated scientist of Pakistan having won four civil awards from successive governments including the highest national civil award of Nishanai Imtiaz. Rahman was elected as Fellow of Royal Society London in July 2006 thereby becoming one of the four scientists from the Muslim world to have ever won this honour in the last 350 years when the Royal Society was established, and the only scientist to be so recognised for researches carried out within an Islamic country. His citation on election to the Royal Society reads, Atta Ur Rahman has discovered a large number of natural products, many of which have exhibited exciting biological activities. He has developed biomimetic synthetic approaches to the anti-cancer alkaloids of Catharanthus roseus. He has also developed new methods for determination of absolute configurations of several classes of organic compounds by circular dichroism studies. These contributions are embodied in 800 research papers in leading international journal, 37 international patents and 59 chapters in books. He has also written, edited 221 books published by major international companies. Atta Ur Rahman has played a pivotal role in the establishment of a world-class center of natural product chemistry, a challenging task in a developing country. As Federal Minister for Science and Technology for the last four years, he has brought about revolutionary changes in the science and technology and higher education sectors in Pakistan, acknowledged in an editorial in Nature. As head of a committee of 57 ministers of science COMSTECH, he has contributed to the uplifting of science in a large number of countries in Africa, Middle East and Central and South Asia. He is also the only scientist from the Muslim world to have been conferred the UNESCO Science Prize in 1999. He has been conferred honorary doctorate degrees by many universities including the degree of Doctor of Science SCD by the Cambridge University UK 1987 and an honorary degree of Doctor of Education by Coventry University UK in November 2007. He was elected honorary life fellow of King's College Cambridge University UK in 2007. Rahman was conferred the TWAS Prize for Institution Building in Durban, South Africa in October 2009 in recognition of his contributions bringing about revolutionary changes in the higher education sector in Pakistan. He was awarded the Engro Excellence Award in Science and Technology 2011 with a prize of Rs. 5 million US $59,000 for meritorious contributions. He proceeded to use the money, in addition to funds from his private finances, to establish a research center on genomics in Karachi University named after his father Jamil Ur Rahman, and to start a TWAS Prize in Chemistry for deserving young researchers from developing countries that has been instituted by TWAS, the World Academy of Sciences, Trieste, Italy. He received the highest national award for foreigners, the Friendship Award, by the Government of China in 2014. He is President of Network of Academies of Sciences of Islamic Countries NASIC, and the former Vice President Central and South Asia of the Academy of Sciences for the Developing World Council, and Foreign Fellow of Korean Academy of Sciences. 
Rahman was the president of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences 2003-2006 and was again elected president of Pakistan Academy of Sciences in January 2011. He has been appointed as co-chairman of Science, Technology and Innovation Committee of United Nations Economic Social Commission for Asia and Pacific. Professor Ada Ur Rahman was inducted as Academician of Chinese Academy of Sciences on 28 May 2018, a unique honor for a scientist from the Muslim world. Topic. National awards In recognition of his eminent contributions in the field of organic chemistry, he has been conferred with many civil awards, including Nishan e Imtiaz 2002 Highest National Civil Award Halal e Imtiaz 1998 Sitara e Imtiaz 1991 Tamga e Imtiaz 1983 Babai Urdu Award 1994 Scientist of the Year Award for 1985 Prize Rs 200000 1987 FPCCI Prize for Technological Innovation 1985 Engro Excellence Award 2010 HEC National Distinguished Professor 2011 Professor Emeritus University of Karachi 2011 Lifetime Achievement Award by University of Management and Technology Lahore 2012 Topic International Awards Twas Regional Prize for Institution Building 2009 Decoration of Honor in Gold with Sash for Services to the Republic of Austria 2008 Honorary Doctor of Education Honoris Causa Coventry University UK 2007 ISESCO Prize 2001 Eco Prize 2000 First Muslim Scientist to Receive the UNESCO Science Prize 1999 Federation of Asian Chemical Societies Award, Hiroshima, Japan, 1997. First prize at the 6th Khwarezmi Festival in Iran, 1993. The Islamic Organization Prize by Government of Kuwait, 1988. Honorary Doctorate of Science, SC, D, from University of Cambridge, 1987. Honorary Doctorate of Philosophy Honoris Causa PhD from Asian Institute of Technology 2010 Honorary Doctorate of Science SCD from Bradford University 2010 Honorary Doctorate of Science SC D from University of Technology Mara 2010 Member UNESCO High Level Science and Technology Panel 2011 Vice President Academy of Science of Developing World TWAS 2010-11 Visiting Professor University Technology Mara UITM 2012 Fellow Institute of Chemistry Colombo Sri Lanka 2013 Einstein Professor Chinese Academy of Sciences 2013 Friendship Award Government of China 2014 Topic. Fellowships Fellow of Academy of Sciences for the Developing World Fellow of Islamic World Academy of Sciences Foreign Fellow of Korean Academy of Sciences Fellow of Pakistan Academy of Sciences Fellow of the Royal Society, London Honorary Life Fellow King's College, Cambridge Fellow of Chinese Chemical Society Foreign Academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, 2015. Topic: Research Activities. Editor in Chief, Executive Editor of Following International Journals, Mini Reviews in Medicinal Chemistry, Netherlands. Current Medicinal Chemistry, Netherlands. Current Pharmaceutical Design, Netherlands, Founding Editor. Current Organic Chemistry, Netherlands. Combinatorial Chemistry and High Throughput Screening, Netherlands. Current Organic Synthesis, Netherlands. Current Nanoscience. Letters in Organic Chemistry, Netherlands. Medicinal Chemistry. Nanoscience and Nanotechnology Asia. Current Organic Chemistry. 
Natural Product Research, Founding Editor, UK. Current Pharmaceutical Analysis. Current Analytical Chemistry. Editor of an encyclopedic series of books on natural product chemistry, studies in natural product chemistry, 52 volumes of which have been published by Elsevier Science Publishers under his editorship since 1990. Co-editor of book series, Frontiers in Medicinal Chemistry. Director of HEJ. Research Institute of Chemistry, University of Karachi. Patron-in-Chief of the International Center for Chemical and Biological Sciences, University of Karachi. Topic. See also HEJ. Research Institute of Chemistry Higher Education Commission Salimazaman Siddiqui Civil Decorations of Pakistan